Alright, so today we're going to be reviewing our monthly rocket for the month of May. We have the Terra GLM model rocket kit. So this is the rocket itself. You can see it's a pretty cool looking rocket. No, uh, no balsa wood or cardboard. It's uh, plastic fins, plastic uh, nose cone and everything. So uh, there won't be any wood glue required for this build, just super glue. And uh, the rocket itself is just just under 18 inches tall, and it is just above uh, one inches in diameter. It uh, launches on a uh, from a B to a C motor. Uh, just yesterday, we launched it on a B64 motor, and it flew pretty well. It does have added weight in the nose cone. It comes with clay to add to the nose cone, so it is a bit of a heavier rocket. Though it did fly well on a B motor, I wouldn't go for, with an A motor. That'd be uh, too weak to lift up the rocket. Um, no decals, it just has stickers, so that's an added feature. And instead of your uh, usual deployment system of a nose cone popping off, it pops off more towards the middle, and uh, you can see here, and it has a 12 inch diameter uh, parachute. And as I mentioned, it launches on B and C's or an 18 millimeter motor mount. So uh, you have two launch lugs down towards the bottom here, and uh, a motor hook instead of a retainer. So. Uh, that's about uh, the whole rocket for you, and we'll show you a couple launches, and uh, you can decide what you think of the rocket. Four, three, two, one. First one going in this direction. Alright, so overall, after uh, building and launching the rocket, I would give this rocket maybe a 3.5 to a 4 stars out of 5 stars. Seeing as it, it does fly pretty well, although the construction was a little bit weird, uh, just a few parts, but it was it was easy enough to figure out, and, as it is a pretty easy kit, it's a beginner recommended kit. So overall, I'd say 3.5 to 4 stars on this rocket, and I would recommend uh, it as a beginner kit. So anyway, I hope everybody did enjoy the video. And I'll see y'all later. Goodbye.